Welcome to the lecture on food and its components. In this session, we are going to talk about what is food and what are the various kinds of nutrients and what the components of food. Okay, so when we talk about food, food is one of the most important things we need for us to live. So we are alive because of food. Right? It provides us energy, definitely, and it helps our body in growth and development. So it is required by our body for growth and development. Apart from this, it, it, it helps our body to protect against various diseases as well. So we are able to protect us from diseases because of the food we eat, the kind of food we eat. When we talk about food items, they are made up of different kinds of chemical components, right? And these components are known as nutrients, right? Nutrients, yeah. So nutrients are important substances which are present in our food and for, we need them for proper functioning of our body. Which are these nutrients? These include carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals, dietary fiber, also known as roughage, and water these are the seven important aspects of having a you know having these seven important aspects of components in a diet carbohydrates when we talk about carbohydrate these are macronutrients so before we go ahead let me introduce to the term of macro and micro macro is something required in large amounts by a body Okay, and micro is something which is required in less amount by our body, right? So, carbohydrate is a macronutrient, it is required in large amount in our body, right? And it is also the primary source of energy for our body. For example, so you eat a lot of carbohydrates in day-to-day -day life and every single day, like potatoes, like cereal, like grains, banana, Diet, dairy products etc they all contain carbohydrates so a major portion of our food is made of you know it has a major portion of our food has carbohydrates in it right so when we talk about carbohydrates these are of two types simple carbohydrates and complex carbohydrates simple carbohydrates are also known as are also known i mean which are found in they are very simple, they can easily be broken down and complex carbohydrate takes more time to be broken down, right, in our body. So complex carbohydrates are known as high quality carbohydrates, right, and simple ones are known as low quality carbohydrates, right. So simple carbohydrates, you find them in fruits, you find them in milk, processed cheese and also if you see here, you can see them in pasta, you can see them in white bread, you can see them in uh, tins or cans of aerated drinks, in your fast processed foods like donuts, like cookies, like your candies. However, high quality carbohydrates or complex carbohydrates are, they are present in your fruits. You know, all kinds of fruits, your grains, your legumes, right? Your vegetables like sweet potato, like broccoli, like kale, right? And then in your multigrain bread is also where high quality of carbohydrates are present. Proteins. When we talk about proteins, proteins are essential for growth, repair and maintenance of body tissue. Now, you might have seen a lot of bodybuilders eating protein because protein helps in repair so when people you know when when bodybuilders they work out they make their protein they make their muscles so proteins help in their repair of their body post their workout or post their muscle workout right and apart from bodybuilders we also need them for our body tissues in every day to day life, we need them for our body tissues maintenance, growth, and repair. Where do you find them? In pulses, in soya bean, in meat, in fish, in eggs, milk, right? In, in um, cheese. So, in yogurt, you find protein. So, all is where you find proteins in all of them. 
okay so fats fats when we talk about this is another kind of a nutrient which is required by a body and fat is required by a big see fats give us long lasting energy so it gives us more energy than carbohydrates it helps us insulate organs right so insulate is basically it provides a you know prepares a protective covering in fact fats also help us in uh, you know uh, it does not help us feel cold much cold so fats are really required in our body and vitamin absorption right so a lot of vitamins which are fat soluble vitamins are only absorbed in our body if we have appropriate amount of fats in our body when we talk about fats you find them commonly in oil ghee butter nuts eggs cheese right what are the two types of fats so these are saturated fats and unsaturated fats saturated fats are basically called saturated fats because they are obtained from animals so any kind of like butter like ghee so you get them from animal or animal products so they are called saturated fats however unsaturated fats you mostly get them from vegetables and from different kinds of fruits like olive oil is a example of unsaturated fat similarly like peanut oil so they are examples of unsaturated fat and saturated fat examples will include i already told you butter ghee these are examples of unsaturated fat now commonly if you see the table which is given here common sources are animals and vegetables